Hey guys, welcome back to the Almost Vegan Mommy. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and so while I'm going to break my commitment to trying to eat as much vegan as possible, I am kind of worried about how my body is going to respond tomorrow, downing some turkey and buttery mashed potatoes, but I'm going to bring the acidophilus along. But today, I'm going to show y'all how to make a almost vegan sweet potato casserole. I say almost vegan because the only animal product it has is egg whites like a lot of my recipes, but it is still cholesterol free, dairy free, and obviously gluten free. So it is a really great recipe. You don't have to feel so bad eating it. Definitely not sugar free, but to get started, I've been boiling about three extra large sweet potatoes. If you're gonna do medium sized sweet potatoes, I would maybe do four or five, but these were like jumbo. And then we're gonna come over here and get the ingredients mixed. All right, here's the line of characters. We got some allspice and cinnamon. Now, the recipe that I've used online for a while doesn't call for allspice or cinnamon, but I love adding a couple dashes of it to my sweet potato casserole because I feel like it really brings about that holiday taste, almost kind of like pumpkin pie. Then we have vegan mini marshmallows, definitely not healthy, but vegan. And oh my God, y'all, they smell so good. Got some light brown sugar. I'm also going to uh, mix in some walnuts. I'm gonna smash those down into tiny pieces. I also have a replacement for dairy, meal, dairy milk, some unsweetened organic soy milk. Usually I would do a nut milk when I'm uh, replacing dairy milk, but I don't want an almond kind of taste in my sweet potato casserole. And I found that organic soy milk unsweetened really takes on kind of a, a more bland taste that milk would. You know, doesn't override it with sweetness or a nutty taste. Then we're gonna do two egg whites, some vanilla extract, and then we're gonna do our Earth Balance vegan butter. All right, so these are the walnuts. I'm just breaking them up so they go evenly throughout the casserole. We're gonna add them into the wet mixture. I personally don't care for walnuts, but my husband likes to crunch. So I'm doing this for him to sacrifice. There's all the wet ingredients. You got the walnuts, the earth balance, uh, vegan butter, the cinnamon, allspice, the soy milk, the brown sugar. And so we're going to dump our cooked sweet potatoes in there and just mix it all around. I didn't blend mine up uh, to where it was pureed. I'm leaving chunks of the sweet potatoes just for texture. And just like any recipe I do, I'm taste testing this while I'm making it and adding some sea salt or more cinnamon if it needs it, just to bring out uh, the flavors. All right, it's gonna go in the oven at 350 for about 25 or 30 minutes. I'm going to add the marshmallows on top and put it to 400 or 425 for a couple minutes just to toast and brown them. So I'm not gonna do the marshmallows while I'm baking it because then they'll just all melt and congeal together. All right, got it. A massive amount of marshmallows on top of there. I'm gonna put it back in the oven on broil. There's about a half bag of marshmallows left. How much you want to bet? There'll be a quarter bag left by tonight, or maybe even none. Hey River, you want some marshmallows? Look. Yay! Mmm. Yay. <laughs> and there it is, y'all. I definitely used way too many marshmallows and they started to boil over and melt. But if you don't like marshmallows on top of your soup to casserole, I don't know if we can be friends.